What's good, people? It is your boy Sneakerhead Pack coming with another video. We got some sleepers. Picked up that size nine. You see it? Uh, colorway on the box. We got black, metallic, silver, and black. These retail for two hundred dollars. Y'all, man, y'all always sleeping on sixes, man. I'm not even surprised at this point. How dare y'all sleep on these sixes? But uh, here it is, man. The Air Jordan Six Chrome. These are hard. Flames. Obviously, I'm biased towards the six, but man, that chrome and that black, this is one of the dopest sixes to come out, period. These are hard, bro. Um, the original chrome sixes, obviously, a lot of y'all know were lows, so we finally got a high version of the chrome sixes. I think they originally dropped in 2002 or 2005. My only, I always liked them, and then they dropped again in 2014. I always liked them, but my only takeaway was the fact that they were lows. I'm not a big fan of uh, six lows, so this high version, it was a no-brainer for me. Um, and the crazy part about these, they actually did them like real close to the DMP sixes. Like there's a lot of similarities. Like the original Chrome sixes, they don't have that Chrome 23 on the back. Um, the DMPs have the gold 23 on the back. Uh, the original Chrome Sixes have a stitch Jumpman on the tongue. These have that uh, plastic Jumpman on the tongue, just like the DMP Sixes have the gold Jumpman on the tongue. Um, other differences: the original Chrome Sixes have a chrome lace lock. These just have a black lace lock with a silver Jumpman. And uh, that's about it, man. It's like the original Chrome Six Low and the DMP had a baby. And this is what you get right here. But I love them, man. You know, I can't pass up on sixes. I don't blame anybody for passing up on these because I feel like the downfall for this release was just the the time, the timing of it. Uh, it's just a lot of stiff competition around this time of year. You know, they dropped around the Amanir 4s, the Chicago 1s. It's just so much other stuff to pick up. I know these aren't really a fan favorite, but... Um, for me, they are. So, you know, I know a lot of people got to pick and choose on what they want to get and what and what they got to pass up on. But this was not an option for me. Definitely had to pick these up. And whatever I didn't pick up, I'm definitely coming back to get. Got to get those fours, those ones. I got a lot of stuff to pick up. Some of those are already on the way. But yeah, man. Some about this black and this chrome together work of art man it's just a work of art well maybe that's just my love for sixes talking um but yeah i love these man i think they sat in a lot of places so if you still want them i don't think they're really hard to get at all they might even go under retail but you never know christmas is coming up so i think a lot of people will double back and pick these up uh i definitely feel like these are going to be going for a decent price years later but you got time you know no rush no rush if you do want to pick these up eventually. But yeah, flames to me. And quality, I love this new buck that they put on here. This is, I feel like this is some of the best new buck that they put on sixes in, in years. Like ever since we got the last infrared six drop in 2019, I think that was, they definitely stepped it up with the new buck. Because new buck before that on sixes, it just wasn't durable at all, man. It would just scuff and scratch so damn easy. Like, you could just barely rub your shoe up against something, and it would leave a scrape mark. This new buck, it feels good. It's way more durable. It, it'll it stand the test of time. So, quality-wise, these are definitely a go. And craftsmanship is actually pretty good for once. Like, obviously, take that with a grain of salt. This is just one pair in particular. I don't know how everybody else's pair look, but this one actually looks pretty damn good considering it's a you know a mass-produced shoe. Normally, the more the more it's produced, the more flaws you're gonna see because they just you know they gotta pump out so many pairs. But these this just is on point. And like I said, it's one of the hardest colorways you can have on the Jordan Six. I stand I stand on that all day long. These are dope. And 
anybody who didn't pick him up, you sleeping hard, bro. You are sleeping hard. But uh, that's just my opinion. But what do I know? I'm just biased to the six. Uh, but y'all let me know if you pick these up. Let me know how you feel about them. I'm going to go ahead and hop into that on foot. Comment, like, subscribe. Shoot me some feedback. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Sneakerhead Pat. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. And I will see you next video. Peace.